Good day everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Gwendolyn Halle, a seasoned and certified medical microbiologist certified in the UK and I'm popularly known as the medical professional with the difference because I bring you knowledge on medical health and a lot more. Today we'll be looking at some very interesting questions which were sent to me. Should your labia or should our labias have the same color as our skin? And also, does the labias or does our labia become darker when we are aroused or doing sex? If you're just joining this channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to increase the visibility and most importantly to join our family because our topics are rare and most times they are unspoken in the public. And if you are a returning subscriber, I would love to say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for commenting and sharing. And thank you for joining this beautiful family. Brace yourself. Back. Our topic is, are your vulvas normal? The purpose of this video is to sensitize a lot of ladies or women around the world or girls around the world who are uncomfortable or feel that their vulvas or their labias are abnormal. And this is to actually make you feel comfortable in your own skin, to make you understand that you are unique in your own ways. The vulva actually is the outer part of a woman's genitalia and it comprises of the clitoris and the labia maniora and the labia majora. The vulvas are also known as the vagina lips. They include the labia majora, which are the bigger lips, and the labia minora, which are the smaller lips. Now, how, however, or how your vulva looks like or your labia looks like is unique to you. The vulva comes in different shapes, sizes, and smells. So your vulva is unique to you. And it's only you that can make yourself comfortable in your own skin, not another person. So take some time to go in a private place with a mirror, open your legs and actually study your female anatomy. Your vulva may only be a concern or should only be a call for concern if it causes you pain and it causes you discomfort. Now let's dive into nine different types of vulvas, particularly labias. Let's go there. We have, we have asymmetrical inner lips. That means the inner lips, that is the labia minora, one of the labia minora is longer than the other, and this is also very visible. The second is curved outer lips. Your outer lip looks like a flapped upside down, a round curve that meets evenly at the end. It leaves the inner lips exposed. The third is prominent inner lips. Inner lips are longer and stick out than the outer lips. Difference may be more subtle or more pronounced, depending on the woman. The fourth is prominent outer lips. That is, the outer lips cover the inner lips really well, and most times the skin may be thick or maybe just thin. The fifth is long dangling inner lips. The inner lips dangle past the outer lip. They may even hang outside your underwear. The sixth is long dangling outer lips. Very large prominent outer lips. These may hang outside your underwear. The seventh is small open outer lips. The outer lips are small and rest against your pubic bone while showing the inner lips. The eighth is small closed outer lips. The outer lips conceal and contain the inner lips. 
The ninth is visible inner lips. The inner and the outer lips are small in size. So, these are the different types of vulvas or labias that have been recorded across the globe. I mean, this is recognized worldwide. Now, we'll dive into our question. Should our labia be the same color as our skin? And the answer is no. And that is because the vulvas actually contain more melanocytes. The melanocytes are responsible for producing melanin. I'm not only talking for people from uh, the uh, uh, black race. I'm talking from people from every race, whether you're Caucasian, whether you are from which type of race or your mixed race, whatever it is, whatever race you're coming from, your labias are more darker than your skin color. And this is normal. And We'll see across the globe where a lot of ladies are going into bleaching of their vulvas, bleaching of their labias, either through injections, either through creams, either through lotions, and maybe even through some other form of uh, chemical therapy. But this is very dangerous because, and it's a waste of time because your body, your DNA will keep producing melanin. In fact, the melanocytes that are found in that area are more than in the other areas. The next question is, does my vulva become darker when I'm aroused or when I'm having sex? And the answer is yes. So why is that so? That's because there's an increase in blood flow towards that area when you're aroused or during sex. So expect that area, your vulva or your labia, to be very dark, to be much darker than normal. Thank you for joining me in today's class. On this channel, we talk about very interesting topics, I mean juicy topics, topics that are uncommon, I mean topics that are not popular, topics that are not spoken about in the public. But because I love you and because your health, especially your sex sexual health, is my business, I am here for you. Till next time, I remain your favorite medical professional, Gwendoline Halle. Bye-bye.